Every Browns fans need to watch it. You need to watch this video because I'm going to explain to you why Kevin Stefanski with this loaded roster is three and six. I'm going to show you why he went from a 20 yard box conservative offense to a wide open throwing it around the yard with a fucking career journeyman quarterback. I'm going to show you why. And I'm going to show you why Joe Woods hasn't been fired yet after breakdown after breakdown after breakdown. I'm going to show you why in this short video. First off, Paul Deeply, there's a reason why Kevin Stefanski's on the sidelines by himself with nobody standing within 20 yards around him. Nobody's around him because he's got a headset on. He's got that fucking Denny's oversized menu. And he's got about three guys in his fucking headset telling him what to do. He's got Deep Podesta, he's got Analytics, and somebody else probably. But he's got at least Deep Podesta and Analytics telling him what to do. Um, that's why the offense is throwing the ball all around the yard. Because the Analytics says that's how you win in today's NFL, throwing the ball. Remember Kevin Stefanski used to have this 20-yard box offense with the fucking two tight end set? Remember that? That boring-ass 20-yard box offense? Now it's throwing the ball all around the yard with the fucking career backup journeyman quarterback. The reason Joe Woods hasn't been fired is because how is Joe Woods going to be fired when the whole defense is being run by analytics? That's why there's so many breakdowns in the secondary, because it's all analytic-driven. The whole team is based on analytics. The defensive scheme is based on analytics. That's why the players have no clue what's going on. They don't want to do that shit, but Paul DePodesta is having them run it. So how's he going to fire Joe Woods? Because Joe Woods is doing exactly what Paul DePodesta wants to do. This is what happens when you have an Ivy League clown running the show in Cleveland. This guy is trying to run a defense and an offense. He's trying to rewrite the, rewrite the way people play football or the way football is being played and coached. You think Joe Woods wants to run this defense he's running? You think he, I mean, listen, I don't like Joe Woods. I'm not saying he shouldn't be fired, but how are you going to fire a guy? Because Deep Odesta's, he's doing what Deep Odesta wants him to do. So Deep Odesta, that's why he hasn't been fired. Normally they'd fire that guy because he's been horrible. What's Deep Odesta going to do? Well, I got to fire you because uh, what I'm telling you to do ain't working. You can't. That's what's going on. I mean, you got to think about it. I know Tony Grossi, I know he knows. Mary Kay Cabot, they all know. All these media members in Cleveland know, but they don't want to say nothing because then they'll get their credentials. They won't get no access to the team because you know how uh, sensitive and emotional Jimmy Haslam is. Jimmy Haslam allowed a nerd, an Ivy League nerd, to get inside his head, put him on strings, and take control of his football team for an experiment. It's basically an experiment. You notice we don't have any defensive tackles worth anything? You notice our linebackers are all 195, well, 230 pounds. They're all small, undersized. You know why? Because they thought everyone's going to pass the ball in the NFL, and our linebackers can stop the run. They don't put any emphasis on the run. That's how dumb Depot Desta is. Depot Desta is a cancer. And could you imagine Sean Payton coming here and having to bring his game plan to Depot Desta every week? That's not happening. Jimmy Haslam. You need to rectify this problem because Stefanski's three and six right now. I want to say something about Stefanski. I never thought he was a good coach. I never wanted him. I thought he was just a position coach that someone gave him a job for some fucked up reason when nobody else was even looking at him. Well, guess what? Stefanski was not a good coach when he came here, and he's actually getting worse every year. He's gotten worse every year. Stefanski was not this bad of a coach last year. He was not this bad of a coach last year. This year, he is like the worst I've ever seen. Now, he wasn't good last year either. But this year, he's took it up on another level of stupidity. That's all Paul D. Podesta. This whole thing went off the rails. And I, you sit there and say, why would Stefanski go along with it? I don't know. Did he sign an NDA? Because normally, what I would say if I was him, I'd get up in the, in the media, the podium, and say, listen, Depot Destas having me do this shit. It ain't working. I'm going back to calling plays like I normally do, whatever. But he must have signed an NDA or something that he can't do it, or he's part of the Ivy Code. They're all Ivy Leaguers. They think they're geniuses, and they think it's going to work. I don't know the reason why, but for some reason, Kevin Stefanski's allowing this clown, Depot Desta, to ruin this football team. And it's so obvious that someone, some media member needs to come out here and break this story so we can get Depot Desta the fuck out of Cleveland. Which, by the way, he just signed another five-year contract extension last year because Jimmy Haslam's a fucking idiot. 
As long as Depo Podesta is here, we have no shot at winning. And that is why I don't even care about the Browns anymore. People, I, when I first started, season started, I didn't know nothing about this. And so I started talking to some guys. And my first thought when I was talking to these guys, these guys are fucking nerds. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Nobody in their right mind would let some guy do this to them. Then I started thinking about it. And you thought about it, I thought about it, and everything fell into place. Everything fell into place because Stefanski was never this bad of a coach last year. And all of a sudden now he's throwing the ball. He had that 20-yard boring-ass box offense. Stayed in the 20-yard box. Now he's throwing the ball all around the yard with a career backup. He was never like that. Now he's doing that. So, yeah, I started thinking about it. And the more I thought about it, it all fell into place. So I want you guys to think of what's going on in Cleveland. The number one culprit is Paul D. Podesta. He needs out of Cleveland. Jimmy Haslam needs to swallow his pride, swallow his checkbook, whatever, and fire that motherfucker. And I used to think Stefanski could be salvaged, but I don't even know. I know he's being forced to do these things, but these players don't respect him. I know somebody that knows something. These players just look at him like a clown. And you can tell by the way they play on Sundays. They don't care. How are you going to get motivated for, motivated for a guy like this? You can't. So we need a new coach. You need to hand over the keys. You need to fire Depot Desta, fire Stefanski, call Sean Payton, say this is your organization. Do what the fuck you want with it. How much you want, I'll boom. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to get a football guy in here. All the players that are good are from John Dorsey's draft. These guys here, J Schwartz, all these players they drafted are fucking horrible. I mean, they're fucking – Perry on Winfrey, how's he even on the team still? All these players that are good on the Browns are from John Dorsey. This regime did nothing. Stefanski don't even know how to use Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb together. He doesn't know how to use his talent, never did, never will. This is the same guy that chased Stephon Diggs out of Minnesota. So Jimmy Haslam, one of you media members in Cleveland, this is the biggest story of the NFL season. Break it. Get out ahead of it because I'm telling you, when Deshaun Watson comes back, yeah, he's going to make the offense look good, but guess what? We're still going to have analytics running the defense. We're still going to have Depot Destin and Stefanski's here, and Deshaun Watson is the man that can get rid of these clowns. I have to make a video of Deshaun Watson because you're paying a man $230 million. If he wants these guys fired, he'll get his way. I'm going to have to make a video of Deshaun because I, these guys are killing the Cleveland Browns. I don't even care. Honestly, Sunday – I hope there's two feet of snow, and I'll guarantee you Stefanski's going to throw the ball 40 times. We're going to get slaughtered. I, I want the Browns to lose every game because I, I, I just, until Depot Desta's gone, this team has no chance. And, and if you guys don't see that, you got to just look what I said in this video, and it's all broken down for you. That's the problem in Cleveland, Depot Desta. He's bigger problem than Stefanski. Stefanski, for agreeing to do this, is even a, he's a big problem also. But if you had to get rid of one of the two, you'd have to get rid of Depot Desta. Because I think Stefanski, without Depot Desta, he could be an offensive coordinator. He's not a head coach. That's a fact. He's not a leader. What them guys did in that COVID season against backups, someone brought it to my attention. They're Ivy Leaguers. They coach better than any other organization on Zoom. That's a classroom setting. That's why the Browns were successful that season. And plus, we played a lot of backups, COVID, all that bullshit. Other than that, as soon as the NFL got back to normal, these Ivy Leaguers, are, they look fucking clueless. So, yes, if you're a Browns fan, we need to get rid of, We need to start a petition, get rid of Paul DePodesta, get rid of analytics. Our whole organization is based on analytics. It's not nothing to do with football. We don't even get defensive tackles because analytics says you don't need defensive tackles. It's a passing league. It's never going to be a passing league like these clowns think it is. So, anyway, search it up. Come to this conclusion like I have. We need Paul D. Bodesta out of Cleveland. Stefanski needs fired. The guy's three and six. How anyone can say Kevin Stefanski is a good coach is beyond me. He's fucking horrible. He's got, he's regressed each year he came to Cleveland. And he needs everything. Per Honestly, Kevin needs everything perfect for him to succeed. And that's a shame.